place here. Perfect. Mad. Ooh, gold. Gold looks kind of, kind of gross. Not gonna lie. Platinum and fucking Damascus, dude. Finally. Finally, we have Damascus CX9. All right, all right, boys. So we are back, and we finally have Damascus for the CX9. It feels good. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. It feels damn good. What did I do yesterday? Um. Oh, I sat here and just did a shit ton of stuff for the universe mode since I'm just like over here just chilling on the channel. Also, I didn't really want to make this a big deal and announce it on the channel, but I guess I'll do it. We have a new um join button. You won't see it on your phone, but if you're watching on a laptop or a computer or something, you'll see it. Um, you basically have like a whole bunch of crazy weird emotes for it. Like they're they're not nothing too crazy, honestly. Plan on getting better at it later on down the line, but they have that and then I'll do like exclusive live streams to like members only or not like members only, but I have like members only chats and shit. So if you guys want to join me there, you can. If you don't, that's fine. That's completely fine. Just watching this video already goes such a long way. Screw the money side of things. Literally just watching this video just shows me how much you guys fuck with me in a hole. So that just makes it better. So yeah, we're going to join the game. We're going to rock with this. I think after this, I'm going to go back over to Cold War. I think I've made my uh, decision. I, I know we were supposed to finish out the uh, snipers and shit, but I don't know. I've just a little bit of, you know, it's been a little too much modern warfare for me i enjoy modern warfare don't get me wrong but we've already had such a long saga in this game We have over 200 videos with this game, and we have 14 days, 18 hours, and 54 minutes played in this game. Not a lot compared to other people I've seen, but for me, that's a lot. My highest amount of game time with anything was an MW3, and that was seven days in total. Like, I've just... Oh, the Rick and Morty Season 5 finale is gonna be an hour-long episode. That's heat. So, ever since last night, I've been a little, uh, a little bit on the emotional side. I finished your lie in April, and I, that, um, that made me really sad. Okay, wait, before I even start talking about it, spoiler alert. They, I don't know, they just made me feel like everything was gonna be fine. She went into the surgery and she was saying how, like, he gave her hope to want to, like, just be better and, and want to live. And that's just, that's a lot, dude. Like, I know they passed it off as, yeah, he still has his best friend and shit, but he's broken, dude. Like, after losing his mother the way he did, after going through that emotional abuse by his mother and then, like, losing her to that shit, dude, that's fucked, dude. Like, my mind still can't get over that shit. And I'm not even crazy into, like, pianos and music and shit, but, like, fuck. That anime's dude pull out the heartstrings though i really did enjoy it was it sadder than charlotte yeah probably when charlotte was like yeah people died but it wasn't like anybody too like when um like when you's brother's best friend died yeah it was sad but like we didn't even know him like that you know what i'm saying like we just met him over the course of like four episodes so there wasn't really that much of a uh like a, a relationship with him you know and with you like losing his fucking self and with you not really remembering anybody yeah that was sad too but he got to live at the end of it and like yeah the main character for your lie in april got to live but it's like the girl he loved literally fucking died and that shit's so sad dude Cause it's not even just the fact that she died, it's the fact that he lost his mother the way he did too, and now she's just gone. That shit's so fucking sad, dude. I can't get over that. Definitely a good anime though. Like I went out of my way yesterday to look up saddest animes. I don't know why. I want to fucking feel something. If you guys know another anime that's like really sad, let me know. Like I've never really been into the whole like slice of life thing, but I I'm starting to get into it. I've always watched like action pack animes, like crazy shit like that. I've never actually sat here and watched like you know sad animes. Domestic Girlfriend was my first sad anime. Then it was erased, and then it was like it went on, you know, so on. So but I really like the sad animes. Like, that shit pulls out the fucking heartstrings, dude. This gun hits, though. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of shitting on this gun in the beginning. I was like, oh, just another SMG. But this gun's actually really good. I, like, deep conditioned my hair yesterday, dude. Listen, you gotta understand, like, yo, my hair gets so fucking dry so quick, and I don't know why. I've contemplated, like, cutting this shit off. But I can't, I can't commit to it. I love my hair. And my head looks really weird, too. But I've really sat here and contemplated, like, actually cutting this shit off. My hair gets so fucking dry so quick. Like, it's so hard for the moisturizer to actually stay in there. And I gotta re-dye it brown, because I'm starting to realize a lot of the blonde's coming back. So it's this really weird like it's like a spicy mustard type shit like, i don't know it's like a, a mcdonald's sweet and sour sauce kind of color like i don't really know how to feel like this is weird i gotta go back to the fully brown i gotta find i gotta find a permanent brown to keep my hair like uh, once i do that then i'll be perfectly fine there's this great hair dye uh place called sparks but they they never have any of the colors i need or they'll have the colors but it'll be fucking out of stock for weeks and months at a time i gotta go to some place because every every time i keep buying hair and shit it's always like like semi-permanent like i gotta buy some permanent hair dye permanent brown hair dye like 
with. I'm just going to commit to the color brown. I don't want to go blonde again. Every time I bleach my hair, it damages it more. For anybody who knows hair and shit, I'm trying to revive any bit of type of hair. And all this, like, like if you look up and shit, you'll see, like, some of my hair is kind of see-through. As more grows, I cut a little by little off when I go to the barbershop. So I'm just trying to keep, because it's going to be at the same length for a while. Because, you know, every time it grows, I'm going to end up cutting it. Once I get all the dead parts out and once I revive the little bit I can, then I'll be able to finally, like, actually grow my hair out and get this nice, shining afro growing in. It was, like, super fucking brown when I first dyed it, and now it's, like, this weird, weird color. At least it's not, like, those super blonde like it was before. I mean, I'm fine with this. This brings a little bit of darkness to it, because before that super blonde, I was rocking blonde for, like, six months, dude. And it was fine, but it just wasn't really me, if that makes any sense. I was supposed to dye that shit months ago, and then I got lazy and never did it, so I just kept it blonde. I had a problem with the, uh, ADS for the CX-9 before, but now I'm kind of, like, I'm kind of digging it. Am I the only person who sits here and they'll, like, have their phone off the case at all? I go through these weird spots where I don't want to have a case on my phone at all. Like, I don't know why. I have, like, three or four cases, but I go through these weird spots where I just don't want to have any fucking, like, case on my phone for some reason. CX-9, though, shit hits. Was it fun getting masks for it? Yeah, it shouldn't have took me as long as it taken me. I already know people are gonna be like, oh, man, I would have been had this shit Damascus, which you're right. You would have been had a Damascus. There was no reason for me to have this shit Damascus super fucking late. If you guys don't, then I'll end up going ahead and going over and playing uh, Cold War. Because I know Cold War is coming out with a lot of new weapons for the new Season 5. Or if you guys want me to just play this shit until Season 5 comes out. so that Because I'm going to have to grind the new AR and the new SMG. I'm going to have to grind uh, Dark Aether. So that's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for me today. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for like. Subscribe for more. And uh, yeah. Peace.